as a Jew, it will make you unclean anyway. Anyway. Uh, so we will study tomorrow solutions for that. What do you do? You need to take a mikvah. Uh, 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 bath. bath. Right? Um, we will study this. But anyway, it will make you unclean. So um, uh, Jesus, however, um, suggested to open this anyway. And, um, and, and you know he calls Lazarus out. What is interesting in this story? What is interesting? That according to the Jewish tradition, um, the body has to stay in the uh, uh, grave for three days to consider the person dead. Now, why is that? Because you can see yourself now with this arrangement that, that we can put somebody in the grave by mistake, can we? The person can be in coma of some kind and notice we do not harm the body at all, right? We don't do anything to the body, right? We do not put the body in the ground, do we? We do not cremate. We do not chop any parts of the body, right? And remember we said that there is a ventilation window, so we theoretically can put somebody who is still alive and person can breathe and so if you come here to the grave before three days you can the other people can say what that the, the the guy who is dead was not really dead he was diseased but he was not dead you see so if Jesus would be responding immediately going immediately to Jerusalem what would people say that was not real. That was not real because most likely, we don't know, but most likely Lazarus was not dead. He was put there by mistake. He was, was diseased. Okay? And uh, again, looking into this can show you that there is nothing but putting the body in the, in the cave. Right? That's, that's, all, that's, all what we're, well, that's all what we do in the initial, at the initial stage. All right?